Hi everyone and dear Pega aspirants, myself Harsha, I am Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings and today I am going to make a video about clearly giving you an idea of what is a rule instance and what is a data instance. So watching this video is going to give you a clear picture about what is rule instance and what is data instance, what is version rule and what is non-version rule and how non-version rules are important in Vega. So all this information you are going to understand in this video. And before we proceed to watch the video, if you are following our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and we are going to start a new batch on Vega training starting from May 31st, 2022. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. The duration of the course will be three and a half months and here the pro uh, we are going to cover two live projects. It is a full pledged job oriented training. Please refer if you have any of your friends or call us if you are looking for the PEGA training on the number shown in the screen. And now let's get on to understand about the topic of role instances and data instances. If you have any questions, technical or career guidance related, please post your questions in the comment section of this video. We will be happy to assist you. So now let's look at the topic. So let me explain you about the next another different topic. Anyhow, we will work on practically with this routing and all. But time will not be sufficient. Let me explain you about different topic. That is rule instances and data instances. Did we discuss this before? No, right? What is that? Rule instance versus data instance. Let me ask you one question before we proceed. You know about rule set, right? If I have a rule set, if I enable security option, checkout option and all, check in, check out, I'll get it. I'll get it. If I want to modify the rule, I'll check out, modify and save changes, check in back, right? If I have logged the version, rule set version 010101, I logged it. If I lock a version, is it possible to modify the rule which is there in version 1? Is it possible to delete the rule? No. Update the rule? No. no. This is possible, right? Now, you see here. See, this, this is, this is uh, what is this? Operator ID. Operator ID is there in SBI rule set. Open SBI rule set. Check in checkout is enabled or not? Check in checkout is. But do you see any check in checkout here for operator? Is there any check in checkout? Any rule you open which is there in version 1 or version 2 of SBI rule set, you'll see check in checkout. Button. But operator, does it have any check in checkout? No. Beside rule set, you will see version number usually. Beside rule set, you'll see version number. But you go to operator, do you have any version number? You go to work group. Do you have any version number? You go to work basket. Do you have any version number? You go to access group. Access group also we discussed, right? Do you have any version number? There are some rules in Pega for which rule set is there, but version is not there. Rule set is there, but version is not there. These rules are called as data instances. These are called as a rule associated with a rule set plus version. Rule set plus version means rule having rule set plus version. This is called as rule instance. This will have check in, check out, all that. Check in, check out, all that will be there. And a rule having rule set but no version. This is called as data instance and no check in check out no check in check out check in check out will not be there see if it is data instance there is no check in check out even though version is locked you will not see any uh, read only option if anything i want to modify i can directly modify it i can directly modify it and save it these modifications will reflect but rule instances you need to check out modify save check in back all that you have to do data instances can be directly modified even in the live servers because there won't be any check in check out. Data instances will not be associated with any version. Rule instances will have rule set plus version, so check in check out will be there. You cannot modify rule instances if version is locked. Data instances, there won't be any versioning. As versioning is not there, there is no check in check out, there is no save as that and all is not required. So even though you lock rule set version, it won't affect anything so data instances can be directly modified operator id work basket work group 
access group, these are all data instances. Activity, property, section, flow, action, flow, all these are rule instances. Property is an instance of class, rule OBJ property. Section is an instance of class, rule HTML section. Flow action is an instance of class, rule OBJ flow action. Database is an instance of class, rule declared pages. All these rules, their instance class name, topmost class is rule dash. What is the topmost class? Rule dash. Operator ID is an instance of class. Data admin operator ID. Access group is an instance of class. Data admin operator ID, operator access group. Work group is an instance of class. Data data admin may be work group like that. Similarly, all other rules. Those rules, data instances, the topmost class is what? Data dash. Data dash, data admin operator ID, data admin operator access group. These are all data instances. Rule of which property, rule HTML section, rule of which flow action. These are all rule instances. What is the difference between rule instance and data instance? Rule instances will have rules and version associated. Second checkout will be there, cannot be modified without unlocking and without second checkout. Data instances will not have any version, it can be directly modified without any check-in checkout even live servers we can modify it. data instances are also called as non-versioned rules what do you call it data instances are called as non-versioned that meaningfully there is no rule set version associated non-versioned rules understand this is about rule instance and data instance <laughs>